Hello guys, uh, good morning. I think uh, we can start already. So uh, we just start no? habang inihintay natin yung mga ibang kasama ninyo siguro uh, susunod na lang sila. Okay? So uh, let me just uh, share my uh, presentation. Clear ba? Naririnig tayo guys. Okay naman. Nakikita guys yung ating uh, presentation. Yes, sir. Okay. So, yan guys, uh, we, we, we will start already our uh, lecture, you know? uh, sunod na lang yung mga iba. And then, uh, uh, I would like to uh, introduce, of course, our uh, topic for today. You know? uh, we will be uh, covering the uh, topic on biochemical uh, theories of uh, delinquency, uh, the relation between uh, aggressive behavior and uh, diet. Yeah. Actually, for me, this is a very interesting topic. Although, uh, some of the notion of the uh, so-called biochemical theories are not uh, really that uh, widely adopted or accepted in terms of uh, trying to uh, understand the concept of uh, criminality, but uh, we can uh, uh, consider this. Now, we can, uh, uh, of course, uh, take this as one of the possible factors into uh, the existence of uh, criminality. No? So there are a lot of uh, theories under the uh, so-called biochemical theories no? wherein they are trying to uh, um, correlate no? yung mga diet, no? yung diet natin, our nutrition, uh, food allergies, no? and uh, even vitamins and other minerals that are present in our uh, society, in our immediate environment, to the behavior of uh, of a certain person no? uh, me myself believe that uh, the notion of this uh, theory is somewhat valid no? uh, may may mga points sila na talaga namang uh, katanggap-tanggap in uh, trying to examine or trying to uh, explain the uh, existence of criminality okay so we have here our topics, no? uh, diet, uh, we, we will be talking about diet, food allergies, sensitivities, vitamins, and mineral. Now we are going to include also the topic on environmental toxins and the uh, general inferiority theory. Now, this is another set of theory, pero I think it, uh, it's uh, just right naman na idagdag ko na to. Because uh, this is the last topic on the biological uh, criminology. You know? So, isingit na natin siya para nang sa ganun ay makapag-proceed na tayo doon sa isa pang, iba pang classification under uh, psychological uh, theories. Okay? So, the first thing that we will be uh, talking, uh, we will be discussing is with regards to uh, uh, the different diet. Uh, food allergies and other sensitivities in relation to uh, criminal behavior. No, meron tayong kasab uh, meron tayong uh, quotation dito. No, what it's not actually a quotation. It is a uh, uh, notion under this theory. No, wherein uh, sinasabi nila that what one's uh, uh, what one eats impacts the body, impact the uh, one's uh, body chemistry. No, so big sabihin guys ang uh, Meron tayong kasabihan ng uh, you are what you eat. Tama ba ako? No? Uh, kung ano yung uh, mga ini iniintake natin ng mga pagkain, no? it affects our uh, system. No? Uh, not only our uh, physical uh, nutrition, but also sometimes our uh, behavior. And yun nga yung gusto natin i-correlate under this uh, biochemical theory. No? Uh, wherein we are trying to understand the existence of criminality uh, using the different uh, uh, substances that are being intake as food or as vitamins, as medicines, and so on. Uh, there are, uh, I believe, that high-protein foods, no, gaya ng mga isda, no, itlog, uh, meat, and other dairy products, no, they contain a high level of uh, amino acid, no? And uh, those amino acid produces the so-called sero uh, serotonin. Da? And uh, 
that in the sense is related also to the production of uh, dopamine and uh, other type of substances which they believe uh, are related to the existence of aggressive behavior and uh, with that no aggressive behavior may be controlled with the diet higher in protein and lower in refined carbohydrates yeah and so those are some of uh, uh, their notion that uh, by manipulating the food intake of one person uh, pwede nating uh, pwede nating uh, baguhin or pwede nating uh, uh, ilagay sa ayos ang uh, ang behavior ng isang tao and at the same time kung ganun pa lang magiging lagay niya no na pwede pa lang manipulahin ang magiging uh, uh, behavior ng isang tao no uh, pwede din nangangahulugan din na uh, depende rin sa mga substance na tinitake ng isang tao ay uh, pwede rin itong makaapekto sa kanya uh, or makasama no uh, you have you have seen the ano uh, uh, meron kasi yung mga instances na kung saan is uh, I've read it in uh, some uh, articles and some uh, literatures. Halimbawa yung uh, kunyari na sasapian ng, uh, ng uh, masamang espiritu, something like that. No? Um, some of the uh, explanation that they are uh, using to, to understand such thing, no? especially those who don't, uh, who don't believe in the existence of uh, uh, spirits and so on, no? yung mga hindi naniniwala sa mga sapi-sapi na yan, they try to understand the existence of that through the so-called uh, uh, food allergies or sensitivities or food intake. No? Ano, 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 ano ba yung mga uh, nakain niya? No? Ano, ano ba yung mga nainom niya na substance prior to, uh, uh, prior to the uh, hysterical event? No? Parang ganun. So, they, they, they do really believe that uh, the food intake, no? our food intake really affects... Uh, our uh, system no and that also affects our behavior no so uh, we have here the issues on hypoglycemia no uh, if uh, this is not the first time uh, you are hearing about this then uh, uh, good no hypoglycemia is a situation wherein uh, uh, the uh, uh, sugar level in our body is uh, reduced no Kumbaga, yung uh, sugar sa uh, sugar the uh, sugar level of our uh, body no specifically our blood is being reduced kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, uh, difficulties no in uh, expressing or controlling our emotion no nagkakaroon tayo ng irritability and sometimes it can cause also aggression ano so yung mga taong kulang sa kulang ng uh, asukal no not literally asukal ano uh, kasi meron talaga tayong uh, part the uh, merong substance sa ating katawan na kung saan is uh, can be classified as like that. So hypoglycemia, no, yung mga hypoglycemic na mga tao according to uh, a certain study have uh, uh, displayed the so-called uh, uh, aggressive behavior, no? They are irritable, uh, they have uh, difficulties in controlling their emotion, no? And it was even recognized and uh, by by uh, some of the court, no. Actually, this was even recognized by some of the court that uh, uh, such thing can be uh, studied scientifically. Therefore, they accepted it as uh, as uh, mitigating circumstances for one person who committed the crime, ano? So, yung mga ganitong bagay, no. Ito yung uh, nagpapatibay palalo doon sa uh, explanation natin under the uh, concept of uh, uh, diet and uh, criminality so uh, the state of having by the way uh, let us just define that no the, the state of having a chronically reduced blood sugar caused by excessive production of the insulin that's what we call the uh, uh, hypoglycemia uh, individuals no those individuals or hypoglycemic no uh, sometimes experience increased level of irritability, aggression, and difficulty in controlling their emotion and expro uh, expression. No? So, uh, some cases, as I've stated, no? may mga kaso na tayong uh, uh, na-encounter na kung saan is ginamit nilang defense yung tinatawag nating uh, hypoglycemia. Wherein, ito, we have here the Twinkie defense. No? Uh, the Twinkie defense is... Uh, the uh, one of the most uh, infamous uh, example occurred during the uh, late 1970s this was very old already now the situation there is that uh, uh, 
uh, somebody no, killed the uh, somebody killed uh, a mayor no and uh, a city supervisor no, after he had uh, uh, consumed nothing but junk food no and uh, soda for several days so uh, this accused no yung accused na ito had uh, been eating junk food for several days and then later on nagkaroon siya ng reaction to uh, uh, the food intake to his food intake which uh, causes him to uh, him to engage into uh, uh, a certain crime no so uh, according to uh, the uh, attorney no the lawyer who represented the accused uh, the uh, situation we're in uh, there is a uh, uh, either extreme uh, sugar in the body or less sugar in the body than the average no affected the uh, affected the uh, suspect uh, as affected the uh, offender no which uh, diminish his capacity no to uh, think uh, properly so uh, that's why he committed the crime no so uh, they uh, already is uh, recognizing or some court are already recognizing the fact that uh, uh, reducing or increasing the blood sugar of one person might affect his behavior specifically it could display or it could result into the uh, 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 it could uh, result into some uh, aggressive behavior and even uh, homicidal act and so on you know? so may mga ganyan na tayong situation which uh, further uh, uh, associate the relation between the uh, uh, different substances that we are taking you know, uh, to uh, our behavior. You know? Meron nga yung mga uh, uh, they conducted an experimentation you know, with regards to diet you know, doon sa mga criminal populations which uh, this is naman you know, related to uh, uh, refined carbohydrates. You know? They uh, uh, indicated that reducing the intake of refined carbohydrates and uh, increasing the consumption of fruits and vegetables have uh, significantly de decreased the uh, behavioral problems and uh, disciplinary rights up right uh, right ups of uh, one person so ibig sabihin we can really make a manipulation on the uh, nutrition of one person that uh, in order for us to uh, uh, produce the desirable effect you know? so Minsan naiisip natin bakit nga ba it's very common talaga na nasa lower class no nasa mga mahihirap na uh, miyembro ng lipunan doon karamihan ang nag-engage nag into criminality. So aside from uh, poverty no na tinitignan nating dahilan eh baka pwede rin nating tignan itong uh, tinatawag nating malnutrition in relation to criminality ano. Eh I do know that uh, naranasan niyo na for example na uh, hindi kayo kumakain and then later on is uh, kumbaga is parang hindi kayo makapag-isip ng maayos why uh, because uh, they are related to each other kay walang nutrition na nakukuha yung katawan mo what would you expect ano so kung halimbawa puro puro mga chichirya mga junk foods lang ang pinapasok mo sa system mo you would not expect that your body will function properly or will function efficiently so uh, they are relating that ano uh, to the behavior of one person um, other potential contributors no related to food uh, intake involve also in tinatawag nating allergies and the uh, uh, consumption of various vitamins and minerals no there are uh, def that's uh, definitely some uh, uh, substances that uh, could uh, uh, damage the uh, brain no and the brain tissue of one person which uh, makes it more uh, ano, um, which is which makes it more uh, uh, dangerous no kasi nga kapag ito halimbawa uh, uh, dumadami ang uh, natatake mo na mga we we call the toxins na dumadami yung mga natatake mo na mga substances that are uh, uh, that could jeopardize the functioning of your body especially your brain na uh, then that could affect also your behavior once that your brain is being affected by some substance na that could affect that could also uh, uh, affect your behavior as well na like for example uh, pag consume ng drugs, pag consume ng alcohol, pag consume ng uh, engaging into other uh, uh, vices, no? Vices involving mga substance abuse, no? So the more that you are uh, taking in these different substances that are considered as uh, 
um, dangerous substances. The more also that it is affecting or it, it affects your uh, brain. No? And when your brain is being affected, then therefore uh, your behavior as well no? and your capacity to, uh, to uh, perform all your uh, you know, daily activities and so on are also affected. No? And uh, what is more terrifying is when your decision making, when your perception and those things are already affected. Now we know for a fact that, uh, yeah, alcohol for example, uh, what will be the result of alcohol? No? Sabi nga natin, the alcohol is uh, killing your uh, brain uh, tissues, no? yung mga brain cells mo na yan, hanggang sa napapansin nga nila, no? that uh, yung mga engage into uh, alcohol consumption lalo kung sobra-sobra ang pagtake nila ng alcohol no eh nagkakaroon sila ng uh, uh, nagiging makakalimutan sila and with that no it it is uh, showing that uh, really the consumption of such uh, substance is now affecting uh, your brain no and uh, later on it will be manifested into your behavior as well so, there are those other contributors, not just the food. Ano? Kasi lahat ng substance na pinapasok natin sa katawan natin, mapapagkain man yan, vitamin, gamot man yan, or illegal drugs man yan, uh, should be examined also no? to, to uh, uh, further uh, identify or further uh, understand the uh, correlation between food intake and to uh, delinquent or criminal behavior. Okay? Yeah, so I would like you to remember the Twinkie defense. You know, that this is one of the landmark cases in uh, biochemical uh, uh, criminology. No? Wherein uh, uh, they uh, already... Uh oh, wait lang. Ayun. <laughs> Hello po, uh, we uh, welcome the uh, presence of our Dean, Ma'am Jessica, and uh, uh, I don't know if uh, the observer are already there. Thank you, Ma'am, for attending our lecture. Ayan. Okay, so uh, where were we already on our discussion? We are already on the uh, Twinkie Defense, you know? Uh, just to uh, go back to uh, what we are talking about under Twinkie Defense, as we have stated, uh, this is one of the uh, landmark cases in the uh, field of uh, biochemical criminology wherein uh, they are trying to correlate the existence of uh, uh, the effect the cause and effect of uh, delinquency in relation to the different uh, different substances that they are taking you know? so uh, kanina we are talking about the uh, uh, reduce or reduction of the uh, sugar the no? uh, and uh, or uh, Yes, the reduction of sugar to the system of you uh, of the person, which could affect also the uh, behavior of one person, as manifested in this case under uh, under the uh, case under this uh, Twinkie defense uh, uh, principle. So as we have stated, uh, there was a case. Uh, this was uh, one of the infamous cases that occurred during the 19th, late 1970s, wherein one person named uh, Dan White, no. He, he killed at least two person, no, and they are uh, Mayor George uh, Moscone and the city supervisor in that place. So, uh, according to the uh, lawyer of uh, uh, the uh, defendant, the defendant had consumed no nothing but junk food uh, during the uh, uh, at least few weeks ago, you know? so puro junk food yung kanyang tinik uh, partnered with soda. And how did that affect the uh, behavior of uh, uh, the uh, defendant? So uh, they they manifested the, that uh, such uh, action, the, the intake of nothing but junk food and soda for the past week, the, had uh, diminished the capacity already of uh, the defendant to think the, and uh, assess his behavior, which had also uh, uh, could probably contributed to uh, his aggressive behavior. The. So... This was a case no, which had uh, uh, been used already as, uh, how do we call this, a mitigating no, uh, circumstances for, uh, to determine the liability of one person. So with that, we are already having at least a basis on the correlation between uh, food intake, especially the, uh, blood, uh, the uh, sugar level, onto the body of one person and how does it affect his uh, uh, behavior. Okay? Now, another interesting topic under this uh, 
subject matter is of course the uh, existence of the so-called uh, environmental toxin. Yeah. So under the environmental toxin, the frontal lobe of the brain accordingly uh, is an area that uh, has, uh, has been the area of focus of the different uh, biological investigator investigators in relation to criminal behavior. There are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of uh, environmental toxins that are present in our society. No? One thing that we wanted to correlate here, di ba nabanggit natin kanina, that uh, why is it uh, sometimes or majority of the times no? nakikita natin or na-observe natin that it is uh, those who live in the uh, poverty level or poverty line, sila yung karamihang nai-involve into criminality. No? So, uh, with that, with that, uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, in, uh, interesting uh, uh, side of the story here is that the uh, uh, existence of the so-called environmental toxin. No? Sino nga ba ang tumitira doon sa mga area wherein uh, uh, we can consider as polluted area? No? Kasi the, the presence of environmental toxin usually is, yan, pollution is one issue. No? Kung, marami, uh, kung uh, over-polluted yung isang area, what would you expect? As I was imagining this, this situation, ano, habang iniisip ko kasi ito, ang, ang nakikita kong uh, scenario is uh, yung mga nandoon sa mga uh, squatter areas wherein uh, water is polluted, air is polluted, there are noise pollution everywhere and so on, which will then be considered as a potential contributor to the existence of a criminal behavior. No? Kasi majority of those people who are earning uh, at least uh, average, no? yung mga nakumikita naman ng mga average, eh, hindi naman sila titira doon sa mga lugar na kung saan is uh, uh, polluted area. They are living in a nice place na kung saan is uh, free from pollution and other, uh, and other uh, contributors that could be considered as toxin. No? So with that, again, the target of this na naman is no, yung mga nandun talaga sa laylayan ng lipunan. Ano-ano nga ba yung mga environmental toxin na pwedeng man nandyan? We have here the, pre the presence of heavy metals, no? uh, yung, sa, yung nakukuha natin through uh, air pollution, no? which will then no? affect the, uh, uh, our behavior, our capacity of uh, at least uh, uh, capacity to, uh, to think, no? uh, the development of uh, our uh, body no? in terms of nutrition and so on. So the more that we are being uh, attacked, no, the more that our uh, system is being affected by the different toxin, no? Kasali na diyan yung pinag-uusapan natin kanina, like for example, the consumption of alcohol, no? The consumption of illegal drugs which are very much common again doon sa mga nasa below poverty line. So all of these are affecting our uh, way of uh, uh, our brain, no? As I've stated, it affects our brain, and when our brain is affected, our behavior are also affected. So, with the presence of the different environmental toxin, which uh, the uh, those individual living in the poverty line are uh, usually encountering, the more that they are engaged in the so-called, or the more the, the the more they develop the uh, potential to engage into criminality. Okay. So, by the way, guys, if you have question, and uh, don't just uh, don't. Uh, uh, hesitate to interrupt us while we are discussing. Behavioral difficulties are stated here. Sometimes causes, you know, we have here hyperactivity, impulsivity, uh, impulsivity aggression, and even lack of self-control. Those are sometimes associated with the uh, increase of heavy metals no? that uh, are considered as uh, toxin, environmental toxin. Okay, so uh, next here we have, uh, uh, by the way, to add to this, no, there was a research that had shown that the proximity to this type of facilities, especially yung mga factories and so on, which uh, uh, produces a lot of uh, uh, gases and so on that can be considered as a toxin, no, increases the impairment of the brain. No? It uh, causes an impairment of the brain and of the uh, general central nervous system which would then produce lower IQs. No? The uh, reduction in learning abilities, no? that's one. Okay? When the, uh, there is a reduction in the uh, ability of one person to learn, that uh, would also be uh, 
uh, that can also be correlated to the uh, uh, lack of education and even uh, alam niyo na no kapag uh, kasi you have uh, a low uh, attainment in terms of education the lesser the opportunity that is being given to you and the lesser the chances that you will be able to uh, uh, find a good job which would uh, provide you with all the financial resources that you need in order to survive no so kumbaga is nag uh, from from the environmental toxin alone nagkakaroon na siya ng mga after effect that is uh, correlated with each other that's why we are saying that uh, really it's not just one factor that we are talking about when we are trying to explain the existence of criminality one factor could uh, could uh, result into the existence again of another factor no and if we are going to sum this all up definitely that would result into the criminality as expected okay another self control is also inhibited no and uh, also the increase into uh, the so called impulsive uh, impulsivity hyperactivity and even antisocial behavior worse is uh, the existence of uh, uh, violent actions and uh, crime no so uh, the uh, researcher in this study no? uh, related the uh, presence of environmental toxin not to crime and they argue that uh, our environment is actually producing crime by uh, producing neurological damages no? so not only that this theory under environmental toxin can be classified under the uh, uh, biochemical criminology but also they can be considered under sociological kasi what does the uh, biological criminology is arguing ano yung argument nila that what causes a certain criminal behavior to exist it's because of the human biology while for sociological criminology ang inaargue nila is that it's the society no ang society mismo ang nagiging dahilan kung bakit nagkakaroon tayo ng criminality so as you can see no pwedeng itong magfall under biological or under uh, yes biological criminology and it could fall under the uh, sociological criminology as well with the notion that it is the environment uh, itself no the social environment itself that produces crime no by the uh, pro uh, by producing the so called uh, different neurological uh, damages no so under the uh, this uh, theory the scholars uh, here the researcher emphasizes that the fact that minority pop uh, minority of the populations no or the lower income groups are the one uh, are the one who uh, most likely to live near these different facilities as a result no sila mismo ren yung uh, kadalasang nai-involve into criminality compared to the other uh, sub other classification or other uh, uh, social classes no it's like for, for example the middle class and the upper class so kung uh, nakikita natin no i i do know that napapansin niyo bakit kaya karamihan ng nahuhuli is mga uh, mahihirap these are some of the factors no kasi mas majority of uh, the uh, the uh, risk uh, factors no are present talaga like for example poverty no saan ba nakakaranas ng extreme poverty which will then cause criminal uh, criminal behavior no sinasabi ko it could be a factor but not really that it is uh, the singular factor factor to the existence of criminality what we are saying is that poverty that could be one of the factors that causes the existence of criminality and with poverty nandiyan na rin yung lack of education lack of opportunity etong mga environmental factors na to the existence of environmental toxin malnutrition and many other factors that are uh, really no, uh, included onto the existence or onto the uh, factor of poverty you know kumbaga poverty alone nanganganak yan ng iba't iba pang mga anak na kung saan pwedeng maging dahilan or magpalala sa situation ng mga taong nandiyan to engage into criminal behavior okay yan so cholesterol and crime no we have here uh uh, they had uh, under the study they conducted they had uh, found the uh, relation between low cholesterol and aggressive behavior this is in animals but of course uh, the general conclusion is that it could also be applied to uh, to man no so the study conducted in sweden no on at least 79777 men and women at the age of 24 to 70 no 
uh, those individuals or the respondent here had the police uh, past police record no, for violent crime and they found a strong connection between lowered levels of cholesterol and violent behavior. Again, we made the mention of this already, the correlation between uh, malnutrition and criminality. Same thing. No? It really is uh, showing in the different uh, uh, research or studies that I'm presenting that there is really a connection between uh, malnutrition and criminality. No? So, uh, kung pag-aaralan natin maigi yan, mas maiuunawaan pa natin na talagang it's within the poverty. That's why I've, I'm always claiming that one of the uh, uh, root cause of criminality is really poverty. No? Kasi under poverty, andyan na yung mga pwedeng pang maging factors or lumabas na factors that would uh, increase the potential of one person to engage into criminal behavior. Okay? What about vitamins and crime? Vitamins and minerals are definitely very important no? in a regular diet, whether you're consuming yung mga uh, synthesized vitamins or you're just intaking food that are uh, rich in the different vitamins that we have. Again, no? eh kung uh, ala, wala ka talagang uh, uh, mapagkukuhanan ng uh, pambili or wala kang financial resources, poverty maybe, no? Ag what will be the result? No? hindi mo makukuha kumbaga, yung mga necessary uh, minerals or vitamins that would, uh, uh, that would uh, produce a so-called uh, healthy lifestyle. Ano? And those who are living, na, yung mga na meron namang healthy lifestyle are uh, less often that uh, they are engaged into criminality. But for those individuals that are relying doon sa mga kung ano lang ang meron, no? yung mga tinatawag nating uh, uh, Pwede na, basta may kanin, okay na. No? Kahit mag-ulam ka na ng chichirya, walang vitamin yan. And the result of that, your, your system no? is also being affected. No? Yung mga pinag-usapan natin kanina, like for example, nababawasan or nababawasan yung ability mo na, mag, uh, na matuto, no? nababawasan yung ability mo to control your emotions and so on, that could be related again uh, to this uh, subject matter that we are talking about. Okay. So that's with regards to biochemical uh, criminology. The relation between diet, uh, substance, uh, substance, yes, uh, food allergies, and so on. Now, the next topic that we will be uh, covering is the general inferiority theory. Yeah. This is very interesting. On the first... Uh, days of our lectures, we always talk about uh, Cesar Lombroso. No? Cesar Lombroso was the father of criminology and one of his notions is the atavism, no? the physical traits to uh, criminality wherein uh, we can identify, as uh, Lombroso had noted, that we can identify a person who has the high potential or has, uh, who has higher potential to engage into criminality by just looking at his physical attributes. Diba? I made mention that uh, this is just for uh, the purpose of uh, uh, knowing the background of the uh, criminology profession. No? But uh, I would not argue no? that uh, uh, they are valid, itong mga uh, general inferiority theory na to. Why? Because uh, it promotes discrimination no? and uh, maltreatment. Okay? Ano ba yung sinasabi under general inferiority theory? Uh, under general inferiority theory, he is noting that there is a so-called racial classification, and different races has uh, you know equivalent uh, criminal behavior that is already uh, uh, maybe in line with them or connected to them. No? So Hutton and uh, uh, he conducted the research wherein he studied the physical and racial characteristic of. Uh, the uh, different individuals, no? especially the American Indians. And uh, yeah, that alone is already uh, some, uh, th that alone is already considered as uh, discriminatory. You know? If we're going to try to maybe copy this study and try to do it here in our country, there, there is no assurance that really we can uh, uh, come up with a better conclusion if uh, there is really a, 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 there is really this connection, no? May correlation yung tinatawag nating racial classification to criminality, no? 
So, uh, in the study of Lombroso, no? kung maalala nyo yung kay Lombroso, wherein ang ginawa naman niya no? is uh, he observed the uh, uh, physical attributes of those individuals who were in prison at a certain prison. No? He observed niya lahat yung mga nandun. He take uh, note of uh, the uh, different physical features, the prominent physical features that uh, are uh, observant, observable to uh, the different individuals who are in prison there. No? Yung mga nakakulong doon. Like for example, sabi ni Lombroso doon sa kanyang uh, atavism is that uh, kapag ikaw ay may ganitong mukha, no? kapag ikaw ay may ganitong uh, size ng tenga, you are more prone to commit criminality than the, uh, than the uh, average individual who don't have that uh, peculiar uh, physical traits. No? So that is also the concept of the general inferiority theory of uh, uh, Ernest uh, Hutton. His uh, contribution to the field of criminology is, of course, yeah, racial classification, no? and the, he applied it. It uh, he applied it to the area of criminal behavior. He was uh, one of the uh, supporter of the so-called uh, uh, positivist theory of uh, Cesar Lombroso, no? which they tried to uh, correlate the physical traits of one person to his behavior. Some mga notions niya we have here, yeah. Um, on his classification no, into uh, sociological, psychological, physical, and so on, criminals, according to Hutton, are less often uh, married and more often divorced. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm really is, uh, ano dito ah, uh, hindi ko sinasabi that these are true. What we are uh, telling here is that this was the notion of the uh, theory as uh, discussed by uh, by the proponent of this uh, of this uh, general inferiority uh, theory. Bakit kaya? Sabi nga dito, sometimes it holds uh, validity also. Pero doon sa iba, especially on the physical traits, physical characteristic, wala na. No? Nade-debunk na siya. Kung baga, it's methodo uh, methodologically, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, kung baga, is, may sablay doon sa pag-conduct niya ng study. No? Kasi nga, discriminatory. And then, uh, it was not applied into the general public. They have a selected uh, respondents and so on. So, these are his notion. No? Yung mga criminals, uh, karamihan sa kanila ay uh, 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 divorce and so on. So, they... But, uh, if we are really uh, entering the field of psychology with this, ano, pwede nating may correlate ito because a person who cannot keep a good relationship I mean, hindi niya mapanatili ang kanyang social relation with others. Maybe have some uh, behavioral problem and so on. So, pwede merong correlation but not really a cause and effect uh, relationship. No? Sabi pa niya, criminals often have uh, tattoos. Yan. That's again discriminatory. You know? Para sa mga uh, may mga tattoo and so on. That they're just using that for the purpose of expression. But uh, I think one theory that uh, justified this is yung uh, under psychology din. Siyempre, kung nagpapatato, uh, nagpapatato ka accordingly, talagang uh, you are looking for uh, a scenario wherein you can uh, satisfy your, uh, your craving to, uh, uh, for uh, thrill-seeking activities. Yan. So, kumbaga, mas uh, sadistic yung kanilang behavior that uh, could manifest also to a more aggressive behavior or something like that. Na? But then siguro, I mean, sabi ko nga, sa kulungan din siya nag-observe. And we know naman that uh, inside the prison, meron talaga yung mga traditions nilang ginagawa dyan. They have gangs and so on. And kapag may mga gangs na yan, you expect that of course there will be uh, tattoos that, uh, uh, that would uh, suggest the, uh, their membership to, the, to uh, the different gangs. And though, there are factors really na, na pwede natin tignan dito to disprove this study. But... Uh, uh, as I've stated, uh, it's maganda na rin mapag-usapan ito for the purpose of uh, uh, knowing the background of these different theories. Criminals have thinner beards and body hair, and their hair is uh, more uh, often reddish and uh, reddish brown and straight. Uh, uh, criminals often have uh, blue, uh, gray, or mixed color eyes, colored eyes, and uh, less often uh, dark or blue eyes. No? Some of the notion I'm just uh, uh, reading. Criminals have low sloping uh, 
uh, foreheads, high na nasal bridges, and the uh, thin lips. Uh, if we are going to relate this really to to uh, the theory of Lombroso, ano, kung ga- ganitong ganito din yung kanyang nagiging uh, yung kanyang findings, no? As uh, we made mention in our uh, yung mga libro natin, yung mga story book natin when we were a child, no? Uh, the the uh, depiction, no? Yung itsura ng witch, 'di ba? Meron siyang pointy nose, pointy ears, sunken eyes, no? La, uh, mahaba na chin, payat, no? Magulo ang buhok. Actually, that was based from the concept or from the uh, uh, physical description of criminals by Lombroso. Ano? Kaya kung uh, mapapansin natin, even in different movies, no? Ina-adapt talaga nila that when they're trying to depict a certain criminal, no, dapat ganito yung kanilang criteria, ganito dapat yung kanyang itsura. Uh, that is uh, the uh, influence of the uh, theory of Lombroso in uh, uh, relation to physical descriptors of criminality. And what uh, the, uh, the Albert, uh, uh, Ernest Albert Hutton here is uh, pertaining to is he's just enhancing kumbaga, the different uh, notions that was already discussed in the uh, theory of Lombroso. No? Ayan. This is interesting also. Last meeting we discussed about uh, somatotyping no? by uh, uh, Sheldon. The Sheldonian uh, theory and criminality. No? Di ba, na-discuss na natin yung different uh, body type in relation to uh, criminality. Let's, for example, endomorphy, no? ectomorphy, mesomorphic, and so on. Now, meron din siyang uh, somatotype. No? Not literally a classification, but just a descriptors and uh, uh, the possible uh, relationship in terms of behavior. Like for example, no? ang isang tall, slender man, no? yung mga ganyang, uh, ganyan ng itsura, they are more pre- predisposed in uh, committing murder and robbery. Under the uh, somatotyping of uh, William Sheldon, no? ito naman yung mga uh, ectomorph. No? Wherein, uh, yung mga ectomorph accordingly is more prone na mag-commit din ng mga uh, property crimes like for example, theft and robbery, no? and so on. But not really on murder kasi uh, ang murder is usually uh, related doon sa merong mga uh, mesomorphic body type. No? For tall and medium heavy men, no? for forgery naman yan. Okay? So, doon naman sa somatotyping ni William Sheldon, ecto. No, ectomorph pa rin ang mas uh, predisposed in committing the uh, crime of forgery and uh, others medium height heavy uh, heavy for uh, uh, medium height and heavy that's uh, for antisocial behavior no? sa mga short uh, slender uh, naman that's for burglary and uh, larceny uh, short medium heavy for arson yan. while short heavy men for sexual offenses no There are a lot of arguments that we can make for this, no? Uh, based on the uh, observation, no? He concluded that uh, the underlying uh, uh, the underlying characteristic are uh, uh, predictors of uh, the so-called criminal behavior, no? Whether we you uh, agree with his notions or not, no? Uh, there are already studies that conducted that was conducted that, that had debunked already the idea of uh, the so-called uh, uh, physical descriptors to criminality. No? Uh, he believed that uh, biological predisposition determines deviant behavior. Okay? Yun yung kanyang notion. Itong mga biological predisposition na to, yung mga descriptors na to, determines a deviant behavior. As I've stated, it is unfair, of course, to adopt this. Imagine our police officer nowadays will be arresting individuals based on their physical appearance. No? So that would be unfair, discriminatory. No? That's discrimination. Naglalakad ka, you will be arrested by the police officer just because you possess these physical descriptors that according to Lombroso and Hutton, no? they are... Uh, a descriptors of criminal behavior. Kahit wala kang ginagawa, kung mukha kang criminal, makukulong ka. Why? If we are uh, we uh, are adopting uh, the concept of uh, uh, atavism and so on, talagang ganun ang gagawin nila. That uh, they are already basing the uh, crime on the physical appearance no, of one person. No? Na huhulihin ka na, 
no you will be uh, labeled as criminal just because you have those physical uh, attributes that are related to criminality no? so this theory was actually influenced by the concept of eugenics no? the idea is that uh, was uh, harshly criticized later on no? under the concept of eugenics in relation to criminality naman kasi no? they're trying to preventing the uh, the uh, reproduction of uh, the uh, bad uh, bad blood no? Kumbaga, halimbawa, etong batang ito, pinanganak, meron ng physical defects. No? What will happen to him? Under the very concept of eugenics, hindi na siya uh, bubuhayin. Why? Kasi magre-reproduce lang siya ng mga kagaya niya meron mga physical uh, defects. So, ang instead na gawin is magkakaroon ng uh, pagpili kung sino lang ang mabubuhay based on their physical appearance, physical traits, and their general health. Kaya nga very uh, ano uh, na criticize yan no the concept of eugenics which was also the very concept of the uh, uh, racial uh, etong theory na ito by uh, uh, Ernest Hutton. Okay? So uh, to sum it up, no? uh, with regards to our topic with the biological uh, biochemical chemist uh, bio, uh, biochemical criminology, no? Uh, they noted that uh, there is a relationship between the, di the different diet, the different food that we are uh, taking, no? the uh, food allergies, even vitamins and minerals to our behavior. No? These uh, different uh, substances that we are taking in to our uh, body also affect our behavior. And sometimes that uh, changes in the behavior because of these uh, uh, factors may turn into aggressive behavior which will later on turn into criminal behavior. No? Under the racial, uh, sometimes I call this racial discrimination but not really, uh, not really ah, hindi siya racial discrimination naman. They're clear on their point naman. Under the uh, general inferiority theory, you know, they believe that uh, we can classify or, or we can identify future criminal by making a racial classification because based on the racial classification, meron siyang equivalent interpretation on what would be the behavior of one person. Some races are of course uh, more uh, prone to uh, uh, violent behavior as noted under this theory, but as I've stated, uh, it's not always or it is not widely accepted. Because, of course, on the different issues that we cited a while back. Okay? So, uh, that's it, guys. Uh, do you have any uh, questions for the topic that we discussed? May tanong? Wala po, sir. Clear ba? Yes, sir. Okay. And so, if in case there will be questions, ano, you know naman the uh, drill, if you can ask it on our GC, you may ask it also on uh, the, uh, uh, so doon sa ating FB group, no? uh, in case that there are topics that uh, I failed to uh, um, discuss properly on, uh, on our lecture, and in case you will be encountering uh, some issues relative to uh, what we are talking about here, no? Pwede pwede yun. So, uh, if there are no more questions then, guys, uh, I think uh, uh, that's it for uh, this lecture, no? I, uh, I hope I was able to impart knowledge to uh, everyone uh, on the topic that we discuss. Thank you all for attending. See you on the next lecture. Bye-bye. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, sir. 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 Bye, sir